Hi everybody! This video explains in short how the Bluetooth CAT functionality of Miraculous DX cluster for Android works. To show this, I will use a Yaesu FT817ND and a Yaesu FT857D. Next to this, I will use a Bluetooth dongle for these radios. The dongle looks like this. You connect it to the back of the radio and you can get them uh, for uh, 10 bucks in, uh, on eBay. Or you can buy a bit more expensive one, which I'm, I have here. This one. This is from Blue Cat, and they're selling this in the UK. The radio with the Bluetooth dongle should be connected or paired with the Android device that you're using. I will show it first on a phone. Miraculous DX cluster works on a phone and on a tablet. And afterwards I'll show it on the, the Samsung tablet here. So, now for the app. I opened the application and already selected the band. And you're seeing the spots of this band on the, in the list. Normally when you're the, using the app, if you now tap on an uh, item, it will show the details. This will work a little bit differently using the cat uh, functionality. First I'll go into settings. Here I'll go to cat functionality. I will turn it on. Then it says select a Bluetooth device. My Bluetooth device is the this one. Normally it's best to restart the application, but uh, mostly it will also work if you don't do this. If it doesn't work, but restart the application. Now if I again tap on an item, it will show you a short menu. You can choose for details, then you'll get the same as what we just showed you. Or you can say jump to frequency. If you choose jump to frequency, it will take a few seconds. And then you can see the message that the frequency was sent to the transmitter. And if you look on the transmitter, you can see that uh, the frequency changed. I'm not sure if it's very visible, so I'll try to zoom in a bit. Now if I scroll a bit higher here, take this one, say jump to frequency, and you can see frequency has changed on the transmitter. goes pretty quickly the jumping to the frequency only the first time that you're uh, making a connection it can take a few seconds now if you go to the menu here you see that uh, an item was added to the menu and this is close cat connection this option will only be available if the connection is made to the transmitter and you can see here that the little blue light is burning, not blinking, but burning, which means there's a connection. Now if I close the connection here, you'll see that it starts blinking again and the connection is closed. If you don't do anything, it will automatically close after five minutes uh, not using this functionality. So now I'll show you the same functionality on the Yezu FT857D. Again. I already made the connection and I put the settings already in. You can see here, jump to frequency. Takes a few seconds. And then it's sent. Of course you can also still use the detail functionality. I hope you like this short demo. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, go download the app quickly in the App Store. It's free. You can just uh, download it, try it, and uh, let me know if you like it. Thank you very much.